COVID-19 hospitalizations in the United States reached an eight-month high on Thursday, surpassing 100,000 people. That number is according to the Department of Health and Human Services and isn't far from the country's all-time peak in January. A Reuters tally then showed just over 130,000 patients hospitalized with the disease. The latest stats come amid a resurgence of cases spurred by the highly contagious Delta variant. Hospitalizations have more than doubled in the past month, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And that data includes a record number of children. COVID-19 admissions rose suddenly over the summer as the Delta variant became the dominant strain, and the U.S. South is at the epicenter with the country's lowest vaccination rates. Florida has the highest number of COVID-related hospitalizations, followed by Texas and California, while 95 percent of intensive care beds are occupied in Alabama, Florida, and Georgia. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, said earlier this week there's light at the end of the tunnel if the vaccinations ramp up, adding COVID-19 could be under control by early next year. 61 percent of the U.S.'s population has received at least one dose of a vaccine, according to the CDC. 